Hello and welcome to EasyCart. In this quick video tutorial we're going to walk you through the administrative console, how to install it, and some of the quick features that it offers uh, for you to manage your storefront. So let's get started here. In order to access the admin console you're going to first have to install it. It's a desktop piece of software uh, that will work on PCs and Macs and so to do that you go ahead and log into your WordPress administrative console. You'll notice once you've installed our plugin that you will have three new menus on the left hand side. I'm going to go under administration and go to admin console and this screen gives you access to download the uh, software and it's free and it's included with all of our trials and with all of our subscription and all of our plugin plans. Um, you'll notice we have several different versions. You can install our admin console on an iPad, on Android devices, and if you have your main workstation for Apple's Macs, um, for Windows PCs, even for Linux machines, you can install. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and install the desktop app here. Uh, so I go ahead and click install now. And it's going to want me to open. Uh, the software. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Uh, and it says, hey, this has already been installed. Do you want to go ahead and run it? Of course, I've already installed it on my machine. Uh, if you're running it the first time, you might have to go ahead and hit install. But I'm going to go ahead and click run now since I already have it installed. And our admin software starts up. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize my WordPress admin console. Uh, the nice thing about this software is it does run as regular software. Um, it gives you all the speed and performance of your desktop and it even includes shortcuts just like any other piece of software. You can also access uh, the admin console after you've installed it one time directly through your start menu in, on a Windows machine. Okay, Once you start it up there's going to be uh, an easy system set up for you to create a profile. Uh, the first time you'll create the profile, the second time you log in you should be able just to log into your existing profile. It saves your location and it saves your username so all you have to do is type in a password and quickly log in. So the first time you're going to have to create a profile and it's going to need three things. It's going to need your uh, location of your WordPress, it's going to need to know your email and your password. Now this email and password account is separate from your WordPress account. And so we give you this information right here to begin with where you can log in with our demo user and our password is demo user just to get you started. So I'm going to go ahead and point to my development, uh, my WordPress installation. You can type in whatever you address your or domain your WordPress is installed in. And then I'm going to go ahead and use our demo user at demo.com and I'm going to hit create profile. And then it logs me into that system. And you can see in here we have uh, some snapshots of our orders. We have some quick buttons to get you started such as viewing your orders, managing your products, uh, we also have some news release information here where we at EasyCart can push out some quick news releases to uh, all of our customers. So this is kind of the dashboard jumping uh, jump off for you to uh, use. You'll notice across the menus we have orders. Uh, this is where you can quickly see what is coming into your store. Uh, if you viewed an order it's going to be checked off. Um, if it's brand new and never been viewed, you can see they have a checks next to them. So if I, I view this order and then I go back to my orders, you can see they'll be unchecked. Um, I can quickly go into my products and you can notice there's sub menus here where we can change options and menus and products and reviews. We won't go into full detail there, but you can see the idea. We have all of our products and quantities and pricing we can edit these products. Under accounts we have all things such as gift cards, email subscribers, user accounts, 
and you can easily come in here and edit a user's account. Under, under the rates menu we have things such as shipping rates, we have coupon rates, promotions, um, tax rates, Google Analytics is integrated so this gives you a quick jump off to Google Analytics. We have a button here if you for our user guide. If you ever need uh, information on a panel, you can open up our documentation and we have a full administrative console section. And if you are curious about a panel, you can open this up, click on a section, and it gives you screenshots and it describes all of the items on that panel in detail. So we've tried to document this very well and come up with a solution that people can read and that we can update and maintain. Along with the admin console we have a few basic settings. Uh, your license information and you can look through some of these points uh, in more detail later. But that's our admin console. Again this is available on an iPad this is available on Android devices and you can quickly and easily access it at any point uh, by simply logging into your WordPress admin and going to admin console. Hopefully that helps and we'll have more detailed videos showing individual sections a little bit later. Thanks.